Mrs. Nyung and Sister Nyang are also survivors of the massacre, but their survival was somewhat special. They were saved by the helicopter crew, Hugh Thompson, Larry Colburn, and Glenn Andriota. We survived because these Americans waved to us and took us on their helicopter. Thanks to them, I'm still alive today. They shot like mad then. When they came, I ran for the shelter. A helicopter landed near us. The men waved and we came out. They pushed us onto the ship and took off. We were dead scared. Were they going to drop us into the sea? After some time, the helicopter landed and they signaled us to run away. It was only then that we knew we had been saved. Would you be able to recognize these people when you see them? Well, how could we? It's been 30 years. It's been too long. If we see them, we can just thank them. The only American casualty on that day was a black soldier, Herbert Carter, who could not stand such mad killing. He shot himself in the foot so that he could not have to take part in the massacre. Herbert later related, I saw an old man standing in the middle of the rice field, waving at us in a friendly manner, but they shot him. I saw no vehicle in the village, only poor farmers running away from the burning huts, and then they shot them dead. Ronald Radenauer was serving in Quang Ngai during 1967-1968. He had patiently collected evidence about the massacre and was determined to expose it to light. Forty black and white and 18 color photos of the massacre taken by Ronald Herbo became important evidence of the crime before the American and international public opinion. Many scholars and veterans of the world believe that the My Lai Massacre is the darkest spot in the history of the American military. Conscious people like Thompson had seen it and reacted right away against the massacre. The My Lai Massacre trial was the longest and most controversial trial in the U.S. It involved 500 witnesses and 23,000 pages of documents. In this trial, Lieutenant Kali, a low-ranking officer in the U.S. Army, was sacrificed as a scapegoat. Kelly is now an old man who owns a jewelry shop in Columbus, Georgia. He was not haunted by the massacre. The 30th ceremony of the massacre is being held at the Midlai War Crime Memorial. The memorial was built in 1976 over an area of 24,000 square meters of the former Thuận Yên hamlet. Fifteen families here had been totally annihilated by the American GI. Today, true to the promise of our soul, we are gathered here on this heroic and war-torn land to remember 504 of our people who were killed by American aggressors on the 16th of March 1968 and also to share our joy with the people here for all the changes that have been taking place in Tinghe Sun Mi. I'm honored to be invited here for the opening of the Peace Park and to view the monument Tôi rất hân hạnh được cử mời lên phát biểu và tôi cũng là thay mặt cho nhóm công viên hòa bình ở Quảng Ngãi. May we never forget again. May we never forget the brutality and the heartbreak of war. Và mong rằng chúng ta sẽ không ai quên vào những ngày hôm đó một ngày hết sức là tàn bạo. To everyone in the world, if we could practice patience understanding, cultural understanding, and love. Last week I learned a lesson from my six-year-old son. A writer once wrote, this land is the witness of a terrible crime 
but it is also a holy land of goodness and salvation. Many Americans have found their way to this land. They were shocked by this horrible, dark past event, an event that took place at the time when they were in their 20s. Are they searching their soul on their journey to the promised land? Every year, Mi Lai receives 50,000 visitors, of which 500 groups are from overseas. In this year's ceremony, two important visitors have been invited, Hugh Thompson and Lawrence Corburn. The story runs like this. Hugh Thompson was a helicopter pilot in the U.S. Army. Lawrence Corburn, a dog gunner, and Glenn Andrew, a navigator. They were flying over this field in the morning of March the 16, 1968. From above, they looked down and just could not believe what they saw. The American soldiers were herding the village women and children into a ditch and opened fire on them. Shocked, the team flew to the village. Thompson saw a little wounded girl in the field. He dropped a smoke flare for medical assistance. A U.S. captain ran to the place and shot her dead. Then they saw a group of American soldiers chasing about 10 farmers. They landed the helicopter right in front of the pursuing soldiers. Thompson ordered the door gunner to point his machine gun at the soldiers and said that they would shoot if the soldiers moved forward. Then Thompson ordered two wheel helicopters to land and get the farmers to safety. When the crew flew along a ditch, Andruta saw something moving along a heap of dead bodies. Thompson landed his helicopter. Andruta waded through the bodies and picked up a little boy, all covered in blood, but was still alive. They took him to Quang Ngai Hospital. That year, Colbert was only 19 and Thompson was 25. According to the American media, in 1969, Thompson refused to take a flying cross medal because he thought that the U.S. Army wanted to buy his silence. But finally, 30 years later, a week before Thompson and Colbert's arrival at Mi Lai, the U.S. government did the right thing. They respectfully awarded the soldier's medal to Thompson, Colbert and Andrew Ta for their bravery. Andrew Ta did not leave to get his medal. He died in the battle just three weeks after he had saved the little boy. This is Andruta's picture. His family sent it to us when this film was being made. Today, only Thompson and Colburn are here back in Mi Lai. They want to meet the people they had rescued before. This is Mr. Thompson. Thank you very much. And uh, 30 years has passed, and now you come back here. And, uh, and uh, at the time, on that day, you rescued and helped me to uh, go over the massacre. And thank you very much. And we are very happy to see you. Here. And without your help, you would have So, you know, 30 years has passed, and now I very sincerely thank you. He was with me there. Thank you for your help, and uh, to, took us out of uh, that uh, situation. Otherwise, you should have been died. And thank you very much once again for your great help. Among those who were saved by Thompson, Colburn and Androta, only Mrs. Nyang and Mrs. Nyung are still living in the village. The four members of Mr. Khai's family and the three members of Mr. Thor's family have already moved to other places. You know, you to know that not every American that they went crazy. There were more than us, more than Larry and I, that uh, did not take part in the massacre.